Good morning. It is quarter past five in the morning. How are you feeling? Great. I'm doing all right. Uh, we went to bed at like 10, we're okay. Um, and we're just having some breakfast that IU was very lovely and kind to prepare for us. And we'll be heading out the door soon to go see some dolphins. We're gonna enjoy breakfast and then get on our way. Off we go. many boats and so many people and I'm getting all like vegan headed and like is this disturbing the dolphins like is this upsetting them mm. but um, I'm glad that like we now look like loads of them like show they've all like jetted up over there um so hopefully yeah now I'll have a wave from all the other boats because we just hope so they were here a minute ago yeah oh yeah you can see it the um shiny bits there's plankton. Which is funny because we watched the beach last night and they talked about it at the beach. Yeah. And they jumped in the water. Look, there, the plankton, shrimps. When they're disturbed, they glow. Come on. Is it because it's. but our camera battery ran out. I'm not with Alex, I'm on my own. I'm back at the Akar Cafe because when we were doing the dolphin tour, which was amazing by the way, like oh, so breathtaking to see dolphins like that. And um, I'll probably give you a better rundown when I get home because I'm by a noisy road. But um, we are, thank you. Um, we are going to go to do some snorkeling in a second because the guy who took us on the boat tour of the to see the dolphins said uh, he showed us the coral reef on the way back and it was so beautiful and he was like oh if you want to come snorkeling later then you can come back in a minute or late tomorrow we can't go tomorrow because it's we plan on going to a temple tomorrow so um yeah i'm really looking forward to it there are other people snorkeling and just looked so beautiful so alex has nipped back to the villa to just grab a gopro and um, some towels and his trunks. And we've just come back here to get some food and it's just arrived. We've got the same meal we got the other day. I've got the banana chocolate crepe and Alex has got the tofu scramble wrap. I'm really excited. I hope I see a Nemo because finding Nemo is 
fun fact, my favourite Pixar movie. So yeah, um, I'm excited. I'm also going to dig into this food right now. I'm not waiting for Alex. I mean, you saw it the other day, but come on. How can I wait? I'm a bloody genius. First bite. I get chocolate all over my top. Alex is here. I left you a little bit of my pancake because I had a bite of yours. Oh. One for one. We're back on the beach again. About to go snorkeling. I'm excited. Probably going to switch over to the GoPro now to show you all the exciting stuff. Um, Lots of stuff. Shut up. Right, let's go. Baby strikes again. <laughs> Why don't you try using the ladder? So I'm sure you just saw, but they have clownfish right underneath the boat. They have, there is a clownfish underneath the boat, or like with the anemone, like just like in Finding Nemo. It's like, oh my God, they're so cute. And the big one, I guess the daddy one, he looks so much like um, Marlon because he looks all grumpy and angry. But I couldn't go too far down because it hurts my ears because of the pressure. Alex seems to manage a bit better than me. That was two hours well spent. <laughs> I think it's been a long time since I picked you up. It's late at night, we watched Finding Nemo, which was completely appropriate for today after seeing the clownfish. We didn't really talk about the experience though. Alex is editing. You could easily make two vlogs like that. 
I know. Footage we We've got we so should. much footage. Maybe maybe this will be in two parts, but I don't know. It was absolutely amazing seeing the dolphins. The only bad thing was because it was really packed. There were loads of boats, and the guy was like, oh, "There's not normally this many boats." He said there must have been like a group that went out with like ho the hotels or something. So. That made it kind of difficult because I guess the dolphins are probably quite scared because of all the noise and it kind of made me feel bad because... Whereas well, whenever they, they, they'd come to the surface and then there'd be a few um, boat drivers, <laughs> what's that the word? And they just zoom straight over to them and they'd like go over where they were like swimming. Yeah. Well, now they're gone. Yeah. So it was like, as soon as the dolphins arrived, we were like, oh my God, how beautiful. And then all the boats would just zoom at them and then go over them. It's like, mm. well, you've just ruined it for everybody. It was really frustrating and it kept on happening. And it was kind of like, you're just, why don't you just stay still? But then loads of the boats went away and he said, oh, um, cause there's so many today. Uh, we'll wait until a lot of them have gone and you'll be able to see them better. And we did. And it was amazing. It was so pretty but also because we're filming it I, I, I kind of regret using my camera so much because I kept on filming it and not actually seeing it with my own eyes so I kind of regret that but then the guy who took us out on the dolphin tour was like hey do you want to go snorkeling and that was unbelievably incredible we were out there for like two hours I had the most insane sunburn maybe I'll show you in a second and yeah, like it was so, so beautiful to see the coral reef like that. And it was literally like Finding Nemo, which is why we watched it this evening. And he showed us where the clownfish were, like under, on the anemone. And it was so cool because it was so tiny. It's a little spot. He obviously knew it. Tiny little spot quite deep in the, in the water. And it like popped your ears if you went too far down. And there were little clownfish swimming in and out. And it was just amazing we were just swimming around for so so long i burnt my butt and yeah i absolutely loved it and alex convinced me to do the snorkeling because i was like oh it's too late notice i don't know we have to go back and we have to go get our our kit and oh can't we do it tomorrow and like i don't know sometimes i can't find it really hard to make decisions and alex was just like come on let's just do it so i'm glad we did it and i'm really i napped all afternoon didn't i how long did i sleep for like two three hours uh it's hard to tell because I kind of napped as well. Oh yeah, we were so tired. I two hours. I kind of, I came in here and fell asleep. Like, yeah. By mistake. But um, we'll wrap the video up here. No, not too much talking. It might be a 20 minute video, who knows, because it's such an eventful day, but it was so much fun. And t tomorrow's our last day in Bali. And then we are off to dot, dot, dot. You have to wait and see. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.